Without a doubt, the most exciting thing about coming to a racetrack is cashing a winning ticket. To the beginner, all the information in your racing program can be a bit intimidating. But we've brought in ace handicapper Rob Figliozzi to try to simplify some of the information in the Rosecroft Racing Program. Rob looks at a lot of the different aspects of handicapping, and he might be able to find you a good valued winner. We'll see if he can't take all the information in here and translate it into this. Every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, Rob Figliozzi arrives at Rosecroft Raceway, prepared to wager and take his chances at cashing in on a big ticket. Fig, as he's affectionately known here at Rosecroft, has an air of confidence as he makes his way through the facility because he has spent the past couple of days handicapping tonight's program. It's hard to find anybody at Rosecroft that doesn't know Fig. Those who know him offer a unique perspective of why he is successful. I met Fig at the track about six months ago, and he basically taught me how to read a program, reading all the numbers and a little bit of handicapping. So he's helped me out a lot. I've known Fig for oh, six or seven years now, and uh, he's here every night. And I think what uh, makes him real successful is he takes a lot of notes on uh, the races. He keeps good track of his notes. Um, he puts a lot of time in, and you've got to put your time in to make any money here. I'm Fig's waitress. Um, he comes in Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I wait on him. He's a good guy. He brings a lot of friends. He spends a lot of money. Um, he's a big better. I work all the live events here at Rosecroft as a mutual teller. I expect to see Robbie 10, maybe 11 times a night. Robbie is the quintessential gambler here at Rosecroft. There's nobody bets like Robbie. He's planned. He knows what he's going to bet. Many times his horses will come across the line. In order to pick a winner, Fig must carefully analyze every aspect of the program in detail. When studying a program, Rob will look at driver changes, past performances, race dates, speed, class, earnings, and any other key statistic that the average handicapper may overlook. At home, I, uh, I can study this program ahead of time. I buy it maybe the couple days in advance. I can look it over just like homework. Um, I have, have old programs in here. Um, yeah, yeah. Weeks and weeks, weeks and weeks uh, of oh old God. programs. I have notes and stuff like that I keep. And I look through this whole program and basically I find out which races I think are good races to bet and which races to pass. Um, most people like to bet every race. Um, I generally, I do bet most of the races, but definitely I choose a few races that where I'll bet a very large bet. And those are the races that I try to make my money on. Once I get here, I might see horses warming up on the track, which they do early. If I don't like the way the horse looks, I might change my bet. Um, the odds have a lot to do with it. Um, if I think that a horse should be uh, a long shot and I get to the races and he's bet down too much, then I may decide not to bet on him just because of the fact that I think that um, he was a better value bet as a long shot, but now that he's bet down such a favorite, then it's not worth it. So I'll more or less either pass the race or change my bet. Also, you can see the horses warming up ahead of time um, before the races actually start, and sometimes you'll see a horse that doesn't look good or he's acting up before the race. That can also change your mind. Things like that. Of course, some horses can be scratched before the race, so you may have to re- handicap the race because horses may not be in the race that you thought were in it beforehand. Other things I look for is changes, uh, trainer changes, uh, driver changes, owner changes, uh, equipment changes. That's a big part in handicapping. Um, dates, the horses uh, that miss time in between races, that's not a very good sign. You like to have horses that race every week, week after week. Um, I do have a little bit of an advantage. Um, Recently, I obtained owning a few horses, and I'm having a good time, and basically, that's what I do. I come out here to have a good time, and it's always better if you can make a little bit of money. Well, we got two minutes to go here for the ninth race. Um, basically, I gave this thing a quick look here, and um, I, I basically think that I like the three horse and the six horse. I look for both those horses to go out for the lead early. Um, there's a big driver change, as far as I'm concerned, on the nine horse. So the nine could actually race a lot better than, than everybody thinks, just because of the driver change. So I'm going to go ahead and place a little bet here, and then we'll go back down and take a look at the race. Yes, sir. Um, Bracecroft, um, I like uh, $40 exact lots. Three six. Ten dollar triple. Three six nine. Straight. Yeah. Six three nine. 
Four dollar triple box, three six nine. Uh, Ten dollar triple, three two six. Three six two. Okay, we're back down here at the table. I just made my bet. Um, basically, I bet on the three and the six. Um, I would hope to see both of those horses going out to the lead. Um, possibly the three, six, nine, and seven are the horses I'm looking for. And they're just getting ready to go out of the gate here. And there goes the three, just like I thought. He's going out to the lead, and the six horse is also going out to the lead. So right now, we're looking pretty good right now. Right now, we're looking pretty good. The three is going to sit, looks like he's going to sit second. And the six is now going to the lead. And the two is sitting third. I would say at this moment, right now, there's a very, very strong possibility that we're going to win money this race. Very good possibility. Now, if they can just, you know, get to the front here and slow the pace down a little bit, um, we should be all set. Um, they're at the quarter right now, and it's six, three, two, one is the order. Now, all we have to do now is just hope that the fractions don't go too fast early, and um, kind of like the turtle and the rabbit, you want the you want the rabbit to be slow down a little bit on the front so he so the turtles can never catch up. That's a good way to say it. Um, so basically, that's what we're looking for. And like so far, we look like we're in pretty good shape right now. And we'll just have to see what happens here. So far, so good. I don't really like the idea that this two horse pulled out on the outside. He's going to put pressure on this horse that I bet you know bet on the front. The six looks like he's struggling. The six could be the weak part of this bet right now. He's sitting directly behind the three. Um, he is getting a good trip, but as you can see, that the driver's already urging the horse. That's not a good sign when it's this, you know, this early in the race. They're at the three-quarter pole, and he's urging the six pretty, pretty strong. So this could be a problem because the six could end up not having much run left, left at the end, which I'm getting kind of nervous about. It looks real bad right now for the two. Actually, for the six, it looks bad. If the six gets there, it'll just because, be because this driver is a very good driver. I might, it still looks good. It looks like it's going to hold on. Three, six, I don't believe it. Three, six, nine, we ended up hitting the triple and the exacta and everything. This is how, how you hope it to be because it's pretty incredible. It just came in three, six, nine, exactly like we just bet up there. So we did actually pretty well. For an ace handicapper such as Fig, there is nothing more exciting than having your horses cross the line. Except, of course, when it comes time to cashing in your winning tickets. Although Rob cashed in big on this particular race, even he acknowledges there is no guaranteed system for success. As another night of handicapping finally comes to an end, Rob makes sure to say his last goodbyes. But Rob will be back. You can bet on it. We hope you enjoyed our featured on handicapping with ace handicapper Rob Figaliozzi. Hopefully you can translate some of his methods into some big, big dollars.